Hey Jenny Bees, welcome and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I would be showing you guys how to install G-Shade in your game. A lot of you actually requested for this video and thank you all so much for all the requests and I hope by the end of this video, you guys already know how to install G-Shade in your game and install it correctly. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this video. So the first thing you need is to download G-Shade in your game. So go ahead and click on download. I'm actually using Windows and if you're using Linux, Linux, download it. Or you're using Mac, download Mac. But I went ahead and downloaded Windows and I have it in my download button. So go ahead and click or double click on it. So it will open and ask you if you want this uh, unknown app to change in your device. Go ahead and say yes. And then it will bring out the menu for you. It will bring out the menu for you to choose your language. So we're going to be choosing English because I speak English. But whatever language you are speaking, go ahead and choose that. So go ahead and click on OK. After that, you would have to agree to the license agreement. So go ahead and do I agree. And now you would have to choose your game path. So a lot of you might be might be playing your game from your PC or from your laptop, but I am actually playing my game from an external hard drive. Just in case you guys don't know which one is which or which one you are using, I would go ahead and show you guys the boot method so you would know how to do it if you are use if you are playing from an external drive or you are playing from your PC. So let's go ahead and browse. The first option I would be showing you guys is your PC. So if you're playing your game from your PC is local disk program files and you will find the file that says EA game. That is if you are playing it from your game. But since I am not I would go over to my external drive because I have a 2 tbyte external drive and I'm go I'll go ahead and click on it and program files EA games Sims 4. So in here you're going to find the folder that says games and you're going to enter bin and Sims 4 open it and here we go we've choose the file like we've choose our game whatever game you are using go ahead and choose it and add it so you're gonna go and click on next now is another thing I want to really talk about and dive in is this part this part is actually you choosing what bit you are using or what your system is using so my system is using a 6 to 4 bits system operating system yours might be using a 32 but when you downloaded your game you might have already chosen that so you know what bits your PC is running in but if in case you don't know go ahead in to settings system and about session and right here you're going to find the 64 bits operating system or if you're using the 32 bit operating system so you could choose correctly which one you should be using so another thing is the graphics the graphics api is direct x9 that's the graphics seems swap is running on so if you choose another graphics it will not open in the sims 4 so make sure to click on the box direct x9 which is the first one or it might be the last one whatever you are using or how you're using it but choose direct x9 to open your game every other thing i left it the same way it was the way i saw it and just go ahead and click on install it will take a few minutes and a few seconds to install this in your game. Actually, this process is going to be taking you to about two to five minutes, depends on how fast your PC runs. Now it said setup was complete successfully. All we have to do next now is choose where we want our screenshots to go to. Where you want, if you have not created a particular folder that you want your screenshot to go to, then you would have to choose that folder. 
so now you would browse the folder just in case you've not created a new folder that you want your screenshots to go to you can make a new folder or either go ahead and choose the folder that you've already created and you want all your screenshots from the game to go to i have mine already and it says reshade photos already go ahead and click yes and click on finish and we are done with so the further you your screenshot was successfully set would you want to open gsha quick no now i want to show you guys another step you download it reshade yay success what you want to do is converting your presets you want to be converting your presets so you're going to go ahead and open your gshade menu click on yes and your G-Shade menu, your G-Shade should open in this way. So for you to be able to configure your, convert your preset is you need to download the preset. If you have a reshade preset that you like and you want to use that uh, reshade preset in your G-Shade because you like it so much, you could go ahead and configure that preset and make it a G-Shade preset for you to use. So go to Tools and you will see launch convector. So I would advise when you actually downloaded all the presets to create a folder and put these presets inside. Like me, I have mine right here in my desktop and it says preset. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I've tried this before. So, and it says preset and I have all the presets that I want to use right here. So go ahead, launch convector, Find that particular preset, the folder that you created. Mine is my desktop preset. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And it's a preset convection complete. So that means you are good to go. So what you need to do next now is open your game again. Like I am playing from my external drive, EA Games, uh, Sims 4, Game, Bean. And those presets that you just converted, right here, you will see the new folder that it says your preset backup. That's the one you just did. Go ahead, drag or copy it and put it in there. If you are already have that existing file, skip it. And there you go. You are good to go. So the next step I want to show you guys now is if you really install G-Shade correctly in your game, we would have to know from this step. So open your game up and see if you if you install G Shade correctly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open mine up. So if you install G Shade correctly, you see the menu that piped that popped up right on the top. So if you arrive to this step, yay, you did it! You are doing a great job. Keep going. We just have a few more steps to go, and you are done with installing G Shade in your game. So, yay, you made it so almost at the end of this video. So, what you need to do to bring out the, re the G shade menu is shift plus backspace. And it should pop out in this way. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is when it opens, it might open a tutorial version for you. Just go ahead and skip it and just go right to it because this video doesn't need you to do that tutorial. And another thing that you would be seeing down here is performance mood, display uh, transparency, safe preset automatically. Actually, you see all of them. I checked all the boss. So make sure if yours is not checked, make sure to check all this very well and it will check for you. So to choose a preset you have to click on here if it did not choose a preset automatically this is where you should be choosing the preset in the home folder which is the home presets this is where you should put your preset go ahead and choose your preset that you added in your game and just click on anyone you are using at that moment okay or if it automatically picked one of the preset you added in that folder then you don't have to choose anyone or you might just choose the one that you prefer or that you like best another thing you want to do is go to the settings now here is the main deal 
This is what you need to know and this is what you really need to set before you play with the G shade. So it says screenshots. The first thing you want to do is choose what key would be taking your screenshot for you. So the key that I chose is C. Key C takes my screenshots in the game. If you feel comfortable with any key, just go ahead and choose it. You know, when we were installing this, we are we already choose a reshade screenshot part. But just in case it did not choose for you, go ahead and choose a little folder button over there and choose the part that you added your screenshot in and select. But mine is already the one I choose already, so it might work for you this way. I don't think it should be working the other way around. Okay, that is clear. Another thing you want to be doing like right here is the shift plus F3 turns on and off your G shade. And right now my game is without G shade. I turn it off. So it has no G shade. Right now go ahead and, and click on shift plus F3. F3 and it turns back on your G shade. Anyway, what you need to know is right here. You just look at it and for the rest, I don't actually touch anything. I just leave them the way they are. I don't do anything more. I just leave them like this. Don't go ahead and do the, the add-ons or the statistics or just the only main thing you need to do is the settings and the home. So remember to bring out the pie menu. Maybe in your PC it might be different, but in mine is shift plus backspace and you take it off and you take it on. Bring it back, you, it's very simple. So I want to go into the game to show you how good reshade really looks in your game. So you guys will know that living without G-shade or reshade is like living with nothing because the game is as bad as it will be. So you guys, another thing that I did not show you all is when you bring up the menu, there is this part that say play screenshot audio notification. If you are downloading this for the first time, it would definitely be checked. Please make sure to uncheck it because if you don't uncheck it, you will have all those noise while taking screenshots in your game. And I don't think you want that. So this is my game without presets. As you can see, this is the Sims 4 original without presets. So tell me, do you need presets in your life or you don't want presets in your life? For me, I think I want presets in my life. I want the G shade, the re shade, whatever it's going to be, but I want them in my life. Let's go ahead and turn my G shade on. Look at how good my sim look with the G shade turned on. And look at Solani. This is Solani. Look at how good Solani looks with my G shade on. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Look at how your sim and your game looks like without the G shade. Like without the G shade, you don't have the graphics. Like it, it feels like it's missing something. But with your reshade or G shade on, look how perfect it looks. It looks more brighter, more colorful, and more defined. So you guys, tell me in the comment section if you want to download G shade or or you want to live without G shade. I don't want to live without G shade, so you do you, and this is me. So tell me in the comment section what you prefer more, with or without. With or without. Tell me which one you want. So now that we've come to the end of this video, you have done great. You did everything perfectly well if you get to this point. Thank you so, so much. I do appreciate. Don't forget to leave in the comment section if you want to live without the G-Shade or you want to live with the G-Shade. 
this is the question for today so thank you all so much if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do me a favor hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to support me if you've not liked this video please don't click off this video without liking it thank you so so much and don't forget your sweet sweet comments down in the comment section share this video with your friends and family so everyone could see it and know how to install g shade in their game i love you all so much jenny bees and if you are not part of the jenny bees fam you are welcome thank you so much for clicking and i do appreciate so guys i would see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye lovelies and bye jenny bees bye